Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and welcome back to this next video and this is a very brief video on the guanine nucleotide exchange factors for short we call them as the GEFs so what are the GEFs the GEFs they are actually proteins and what they do is when they act on their substrate protein they are going to replace the GDP attached to the substrate protein into a GTP so this is what the GEF are doing they are replacing a GDP with a GTP so what are the substrate proteins for these GEFs the substrate proteins for these GEFs they are known as the GTPases and GTPases are a large family of the hydrolase enzyme that bind to the GTP and hydrolyze it to the guanosine diphosphate or a GDP now what this mean is that the GTPase can bind to the GDP but they can also bind to the GTP but the binding of the GDP to the GTPase and the binding of the GTP to the GTPase they have got different meanings so when a GDP molecule that is attached to the GTPase the GTPase is in the inactive form but when the GEF act on this inactive GTPase replacing the GDP by a GTP they are going to move into the active form so if you look at this particular definition the GTPase they are the hydrolase enzyme that bind to the GTP so they are going to bind to this particular GTP they are going to hydrolyze this into the GDP thereby moving from the active into the inactive form therefore we call them is the GTPase and that they have the ability to hydrolyze the GTP into a GDP let me give you some examples from the uh, family of the GEF one of the important example is known as the son of seven less so this is a GEF what this GEF do that it is going to activate the RAS GTPase what that mean is that the SOS is going to remove the GDP from the RAS protein it is going to attach a GTP to the RAS molecule thereby activating this particular GTPase and when the rest that is activated that is responsible for the activation of the map signaling pathway a very important pathway for the cell division another important example of the gef that is known is the t lymphoma invasion and metastasis one and what this particular gef do it is going to uh, activate the rac1 gtps just like the son of samuelless is activating the rac gtps the tm1 is going to activate the rac1 gtps by replacing the gdp attached to this particular protein into a gtp and when it gets activated this is very important in the cell migration another important example is the wave which is a multifunctional gef it is going to activate the rho family gtpases like the rac and the cdc42 and when that's get activated they are very important in the hematopoietic cell signaling and the immune responses and the last example from the gef family that is known is the ras guanyl releasing protein 1 and what this particular gef do it is going to activate the ras protein in response to the dag and calcium signals and this activation is very important in the t and b cell development homeostasis and the differentiation